Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm excited to unbox my very first bespoke shirt from Bud Shirtmaker. So very exciting. This culminates a multi-part series that we have been filming following the creation of my very first bespoke shirt from Bud Shirtmaker in London, of course, the iconic shirt making firm located in the Piccadilly Arcade. Uh, now we have filmed the measurements, the pattern drafting, uh, the factory in Andover on how they actually make shirts, the first fitting, uh, and then this is finally that first shirt that's being delivered. So I'm very excited to open this up and see uh, what Bud has been able to create for me. So uh, it's one of my favorite days here at Kirby Allison is the opportunity to open up something new and let's see what Bud's got for me. All right, so there we go. Bud Shirtmaker, or just Bud, I suppose, as they're called now. Now, as Darren was explaining in their bespoke process, uh, you have your measurements taken. Uh, they will make you a trial shirt. We filmed that process in London of them just uh, tweaking and checking all the measurements. Once Darren is happy with that, they take it to the first shirt. Now the first shirt is really the true trial shirt, if you will, because uh, the bespoke process is an evolution. This is meant to be laundered for you to wear it and really to determine whether or not there are any opportunities to improve the fit even more uh, than it already is. So uh, here is that first shirt, again, wrapped in beautiful tissue paper with the bud uh, sticker right there. Uh, let's open this up and see what this looks like. There we go, first shirt. Uh, this is made in the iconic bud stripe. Again, it's a combination of a blue stripe with a little bit of jack card that gives us a fabric, uh, a really rich visual texture. Uh, bespoke collar, mother of pearl buttons. Uh, you can see right here my initials uh, sewn uh, inside, hallmark of bespoke shirt. And then that 980 corresponds to my customer number and the pattern. Uh, so this, again, designates uh, which pattern was used to make this shirt. And uh, let's open it up and take a look at this. All right, oh boy, look at that. So beautiful monogram right here, uh, jumping out right there. I mean, I went for a slightly stronger, uh, less subtle than my standard monogram, really showcasing the beautiful handwork uh, that Bud executes uh, with all their monogramming. Again, 100% done by hand. There's one lady that they have doing this work and she does an absolutely exceptional job. Uh, this model, again, is a classic kind of British dress shirt. There were some details of this that are different than my bespoke shirts that I had made from Charvet uh, that are really uh, traditional for a, a Bud shirt that I wanted to retain. One being this front placket that goes all the way down, right? The bud collar, again, very, um, very iconic to bud. This is a bespoke collar, so although it has that classic kind of cutaway bud shape, uh, Darren raised it a little bit in the front, heightened the back of the collar. So again, it is not an off-the-shelf collar. It is totally bespoke. I had it made with a two-button barrel cuffs, again, with a rounded edge. Uh, and this is, again, a, a beautifully executed shirt, exactly what you would expect from a shirt maker like a Bud. Uh, and I have to say, I was very excited to finally be able uh, to try my hand at having a shirt made bespoke by Bud. Uh, of all of the British-based shirt makers, Bud, in my opinion, is the most iconic. Again, based there on or in the Piccadilly Arcade, 100% of all their bespoke work is done on site. Their bespoke pattern drafting, their cutting. If you're in London, of course, your measurements and the fittings. Uh, they have a factory in Andover with a very small team of dedicated seamstresses. Uh, we filmed that factory tour. You can see exactly how they make a shirt from start to finish. 100% uh, of their work is done there, uh, including the work done with their bespoke shirts. The construction process of the bespoke shirt relative to a made-to-measure or their off-the-rack shirts is relatively the same, uh, with the exception of, of course, the buttons being sewn on by hand. You can see that right here. Uh, this is uh, sewn on hand by hand, uh, very beautiful, and then the hand monogramming. 
Uh, but other than that, I mean, the quality uh, is the same. And not to say that the quality of the bespoke shirts is any less, but really to say that the quality of all their shirts is exceptional, uh, whether or not it's bespoke, made to measure, or off the rack. Of course, what you're getting with the bespoke process is that bespoke pattern, 100% individualized to you, your body, um, its uniquenesses like my dropped shoulders and that's the fact I stoop a little bit. Uh, and then also your preferences, what type of uh, collar band or collar you want, your cuffs, uh, how much room you like in the body of the shirt. All those characteristics are taken into account in the bespoke process. Um, but I have to say, this looks beautiful. And uh, you know we've learned not to try on anything without first sending it to the dry cleaners. So uh, I'm gonna send this to Ray Fabricare, uh, which is my dry cleaner of choice located in Scottsdale, Arizona. I know it sounds crazy mailing my dry cleaning to Arizona, uh, but they are the best dry cleaners here in the United States. Uh, and their work uh, is just absolutely exceptional. And when it comes to a shirt like this, uh, uh, the hand pressing is the best of any dry cleaners that I've ever seen uh, by a mile. Uh, and so I'm gonna send this to them uh, so that we really can showcase just how beautiful this shirt is. So hold fast for a few seconds while we send this off to be dry cleaned. And then once it comes back, we're gonna try this on for you in this video. So here we are back in the studio and I've got this Bud shirt maker, my first bespoke shirt from Bud, back from Ray Fabricare. Of course, anytime you receive a new shirt, you really need to launder it a few times in order for it to shrink. I mean, all fabric shrinks. And so uh, the shirt makers will work in certain kind of allowances into the fabric to account for that. Uh, and so, you know, as we've learned here on the channel, we don't want to shortchange any of the people with whom we're filming by just taking something right out of the box and trying it on. And really to see how something looks, it needs to be sent to the dry cleaners. It needs to be pressed uh, in order to fully appreciate all of the work that has gone into the creation of a bespoke product. So here we are. We've got this shirt from Ray Fabricare, of course, Stu at Ray Fabricare does an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, and I've always said on this channel that the lifetime of any garment can be measured in how many times it's been sent to the dry cleaners. Uh, your average local dry cleaners uh, puts a, just a tremendous amount of strain on a garment. Uh, it'll shrink by too much, uh, it'll wear too quickly, they'll press the life out of it, they'll break buttons. Uh, Ray Fabricare really, um, they're not cheap, right? It's a premium service, but they take the time to really do everything properly. It's the only place that I would send a bespoke suit to be dry cleaned and pressed with full confidence that it's coming back pressed just as well as if it had left the tailor. So uh, anyway, look them up, Ray Fabricare, Scottsdale, uh, Arizona. So let's open this up. Got to be very careful. I have cut into a shirt before. Um, so here we go. The magic of Rave. I mean, again, whenever it comes to their packaging, it is amazing. So that is just a little spacer. And here we have this beautiful bespoke shirt, right? Now, uh, there's no question, a little bit overkill whenever it comes to how Rave uh, packages their shirts. I mean, it's absolutely beautifully uh, folded. Uh, and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. But all of the shirts come in what is basically an air pillow, right? And what this does is it prevents uh, the shirts from really being compressed during shipment, right? You can see me pressing down on this um, so that they don't wrinkle. And it's really incredible that they're able to do this. So, um, open this up. Okay. There we go. It's beautiful. So again, nice little tissue pillow, some plastic to keep the collar up and folded in tissue. And so you can see this has actually been in the box sitting in my office waiting to film this for a while. I mean, it's got some soft creasing where the shirt's been folded. But to be completely honest, once this shirt has an opportunity to hang a little bit, um, you know, those creases will fall right out. So, um, and then the other thing with Rave is all of the pressing is done by hand. So whenever you have an unfused collar or something with a floating inner lining, uh, and the inner lining is a piece of fabric that gives the collar its structure and stiffness, the body that you need uh, in a proper collar for it to hold its shape. Um, you can fuse it where 
that interlining uh, is glued um, to the fabric, which you don't like or you don't want. It creates a really stiff, almost cardboard-like texture. Or you can have a floating interlining, and this is what uh, you really find most often in bespoke shirts, where it's basically just sewn in, there's no glue, and so this top layer of fabric floats um, from the inner lining and then to the back. Now, what's important is that it's pressed well, uh, because if you press it um, you know, without care, you can push the fabric and uh, create a crease right there and it just doesn't look clean. So the pressing matters. So here we go, beautiful shirt. Uh, we spoke a little bit about the details earlier, but again, you can see it all in its full glory. I mean, the beautiful monogram right here, the placket, the hand-sewn buttons, uh, absolutely beautiful shirt. It's got my pattern number um, or order number. Uh, it's got my uh, initial sewn in right there. So beautiful shirt. And I think actually, I think it's gonna go really beautifully with this suit that I'm wearing from Eric Jensen's. Let's see how it looks on. And here I am in this beautiful bespoke bud shirt. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, We'll talk through it a little bit, but allow you guys to see it. I'll throw the tie up. I mean, I think it fits really nicely in the body. Uh, it's got this, uh, you know, relatively large front placket that uh, is, again, just kind of a hallmark of British shirt making, right? Um, it might be something in the future that I probably would remove. I prefer a slightly cleaner aesthetic. But with this first shirt, I really wanted to go uh, with as much as possible a Bud's house aesthetic or house style. Uh, the sleeves are great. Uh, again, you'll remember in the last fitting, I felt that there was a little too much in the sleeves, and Darren was really able to trim that out. Again, nice high, high arms hole. I mean, this, you know, just precision right here really makes a shirt so much more comfortable. I mean, I find one of the most uncomfortable things about standard off-the-rack shirts is just all the extra fabric you have. It just gets in the way. Uh, and so with the bespoke shirt, what you really want to see is all of those, uh, all of that excess really trimmed down uh, to, you know, reasonable tolerances. You don't want it too tight. You know, then if you gain, you know, a few pounds over Thanksgiving, you know, your shirt's pulling. Like, you don't want that. Um, you don't want, you know, the sleeves so tight that you're not comfortable and you can't bend your elbows. But I'd say that this is exceptionally comfortable, especially through here. It's really, I have to say, very comfortable. Uh, the sleeve length is perfect. Uh, the cuff and barrel size, again, is perfect. Uh, this has got just enough room in there where it is able to kind of hold its position. It's not going to fall down in the hand. Again, if the circumference of the cuff uh, is too large, uh, regardless of the sleeve length, and you want a little bit of extra room in the sleeves, uh, you'll find it sliding down the hand. It's just one of those things throughout the day I kind of myself find myself constantly, uh, you know, becoming a little self-conscious. Uh, great buttons, right? And then just look at the back, right? I think it fits, you know, really beautifully. And then just right here again, you know, this is again, one of those hallmarks of a great bespoke shirt. There's just not excess here, right? And I'll take the braces down. These of course are sovereign grade braces. I did throw on a different tie that I think works well with this. But if you look just right through here, you know, with the collar, uh, and just the front kind of body. Uh, it just has a nice drape, it's smooth. There's not a lot of pulling, there's not a lot of wrinkling. And whenever I put the braces on, you know, they'll always uh, cause a little bit of wrinkling, that's pretty common. But, you know, worn without braces, you can see that this shirt is incredibly smooth and fits well. One of the other things you'll notice, again, is the bespoke collar. Uh, nice cutaway, not too wide, long points. Um, Interesting for me is a little bit of a wider uh, tie gap right here, a collar gap. So take a look at that. And let me know kind of what you think uh, in the video. Uh, and I think that this tie, this sovereign grade tie, of course, knots beautifully. I just did this. And uh, let's throw on a jacket and see what it looks like with the jacket. So there we are. This is my bespoke suit from Eric Jensen, Satoria Gallo. Uh, and again, this shirt in this particular suit with this Dorme fabric, I think works absolutely beautifully. The tie, everything I think uh, really is going on right here uh, just brilliantly. Uh, what I like about this Dorme fabric is it's, you know, we've spoken a lot about this. It's like a green, blue, gray. I mean, what color is it? It's kind of calico, depends how you're accessorizing it. 
This shirt really pulls out the blue in this particular fabric. It's a beautiful, subtle bud stripe, right? It has that uh, small little jacquard uh, kind of weave in there that gives it that visual texture. Uh, the sleeves are perfect. Uh, and I think that, you know, again, the collar height, you know, coming at the top um, is really perfect. So there we have it. My first bespoke shirt from Bud. Beautiful monogram. I couldn't be any happier. And I must say, I look forward to seeing uh, the gentleman at Bud uh, to place an order for some more shirts. Uh, I have to say that um, I'm really satisfied with the shirt. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments section below. But I'd have to say that I think this is a real testament to the bespoke process. It does require a little bit of investment of time for your bespoke measurements. Uh, for a first, maybe even a second fitting. But that time and energy is highly rewarded in a product like this. And of course, the other beautiful thing about bespoke shirts is that once you nail your pattern, you don't need any additional fittings. They can go straight to finish. And so that makes it so that whenever you need to place an order for new shirts, they go straight through. You get them in a few months and every single shirt fits exactly the same, exactly how you like it. And it's that reliability, that consistency, uh, that I think is one of the defining virtues of bespoke shirts. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, of course, if this is your first time watching the channel, make sure you go check out our other videos with Bud Shirt Makers. We have a video of Darren taking my bespoke measurements. We have a video of Darren drafting this pattern by hand. Uh, and then we also have an incredible factory tour where we went to the Bud Shirt Makers uh, workshop uh, in Andover, outside of London, and filmed the entire process of them making a bespoke shirt from start to finish. Uh, it's a great video and really uh, will give tremendous insight into that bespoke process. Uh, also, if you haven't visited KirbyAllison.com, take a moment and do so. Uh, of course, it's the best way to support the content that we film here on this channel. Uh, there you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed, uh, like this beautiful sovereign gray tie I'm wearing, pocket squares, braces, socks, and so much more. We really have an absolutely incredible catalog of clothing accessories, uh, so make sure you go online and visit KirbyAllison.com. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.